Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Indigo Park. And you might say, we've already played Indigo Park on the channel, and we did, we played it back in May, I think, when it first came out. But this new version of Indigo Park is actually a brand new update for the game, which has new environments, character animations, some secrets, and has generally just been remastered all over top to bottom to bring it more in line with what the team hopes to achieve with Chapter 2 when that comes out in the next year or so. So with all of that said, we're going to dive into Indigo Park Chapter 1 Remastered and see what this game is all about. I think the intro will be the same, but we'll watch it again, guys, because it's a fun little intro. On a journey to this newfound paradise, we welcome you. Indigo Park offers a slice of the American dream to call your own. In this place, echoes of days gone are brought back to life as a new generation captures a glimpse of the exciting potential of tomorrow. Indigo Park pays homage to the values, dreams, and unwavering truths that gave rise to our great nation. Here you embark on the journey. So we're watching a classic video from Indigo Park's marketing, and we're about to do some urban exploring as our protagonist in the uh, the abandoned amusement park. That's the setup for the game, as you'll remember. I believe that's our character when he was a kid. That's his mom's favourite character, Molly McCaw. You can see we're speaking to our friend Laura there. She's saying it's been closed down for a while. So we're driving to the park under the cover of night. And uh, yeah, we've got our video camera. Gonna be checking it out. I did like this intro. I think it's a fun little way where it introduces you to the park, some of the characters. Little Bam Bam reference there. And um, yeah, it just kind of packs the premise together really quickly for you to understand. It was pretty well done. Little rambly merch fair. So you're like a YouTube piece of marketing, I think. <laughs> Indigo Park, here we go. Chapter 1, Birds of a Feather. So this is where we're going to experience the remastered Chapter 1, guys. See what the new visuals look like and the additions they've added. I don't know how extensive they are, but... I thought it was worth checking out. Oh, it does look a little nicer, like straight off the bat, I think. I mean, I think the game always looked good, but it seems improved. So let's go through the game. Here's Indigo Park. It says find a way into the park. And we've got our first collectible. There we go. Um, we can actually visit kiosks to, um, we have to check out like, you know, the different mascots that we collect. I think that's Finley, the sea serpent one. We got Lloyd the lion before that. Okay, the door is opening. Wranglers only. Hmm. Are we a wrangler? I don't think we are. Oh, it's Rambly. Hello, Park, Rambly. The world's most innovative and engaging family fun experience. Jump into the world of your favorite character. Wait, you're our first guest in 2,920 days, 4 hours, 23 minutes, and 38 seconds. Congratulations! <laughs> I'm Rambly, Rambly the Raccoon, and it's my job to make sure your experience here at Indigo Park is the most fun it can be. Just hop on over to the registration center to your left, where our friendly assistant will help you begin your adventure in the park. Awesome. All right. So we're going to go over, sit on the chair. Hi, I'm Rambly, Rambly the Raccoon, and it's my job to make sure your experience here at Indigo Park is <laughs> registered. Let me just get a good look at you. We've been filmed Ooh, on the webcam. You have your face in our guest list. Is this your first time here at the park? Yes. Or did you just get plastic surgery? No worries. It's Rambly Tuesday. So you qualify for a big discount on your visit. Just follow me to the main gate. Ooh, I can't wait for you to see everything Indigo Park has to offer. I can't wait either. Let's go. There's a Molly McCall poster. So we want to go to the main gates. Back out we go. He actually, he definitely holds the uh, flashlight differently, guys. If you remember before, kind of held it a bit derpy, like, I, in a weird way. I can't describe it, but, like, they've actually got him holding the flashlight normally now, which is kind of nice. All right, what, how do I do this? What's the hold up? The gate is open. Head on into the entryway. It's not open. Hmm, hold on. My mistake. The gate is not open. Nope. There seems to be an error message being sent from the gate's power unit. Lucky you! You get to be the first person to try our turn on the generator mini rambling venture. Have fun! 
thanks, Rambly. I'll I'll turn on the generator, have a little mini adventure doing so. I'm sure it's going to be you know really really fun. Uh, we'll give it a go. Oh, can I collect this plush? Ah, the yes. Indigo Violet Compact Power Generator, but it seems to be inoperable. Looks like it's missing a piece. Can you find it? Hopefully. I think the cog is just here. Yeah, this is exactly the same. So this is good. Or it's a gear, not a cog. Same difference, right? Tomato, tomato, as they say. Right. Pull that. Ooh, I don't know if it had little animations for stuff like that before. I think maybe like tweaked that. That's good. All right, let's go forward into the park. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Was this here before? I feel like this wasn't here before. Maybe it was, I don't know. Now we can go in. Okay, for real this time. Welcome to Indigo Park. Hey, we're in. We're in the park, guys, and it's actually bright. We don't need our flashlight anymore. All right, so I think there's a collectible over here, if I remember. You have a Molly McCall one. So we'll collect that, getting all the collectibles as, we, uh, as we'd want to. Oh, silly rambly. Every guest needs a critter cuff. That will allow you access to reserve areas, charge payments to your room, and wear a critter cuff. I think there's awesome. something in the gift shop. Head in there and I'll get you set up. Okay. Into the critter corner, guys. The little gift shop. Look at this. All the plushies. We've got keychains. All the merch here. I'm not sure if we can get, like, any more plushies here. There you go, buddy. Your very own critter cuff. Oh, look, it's got a reflections and everything now. That also doubles as a pedometer, heart monitor, and mood ring. Look at this. It's got actual animations for it now, guys. That's really cool. Okay, that's new. New little animations. It seems to be like little small tweaks, like the visuals overall look better. It's got new animations here and there. Uh-oh. The Stuff door like that. Seriously locked. Why not test out your band and save the day? Alright, here we go. Hooray! Great work, buddy! Now try entering the park and we can start our indigo adventure. He kind of floated there when he uh, when he swiped it. But it's all good. There we go. Nice. So I can go through. There's Rambly and the uh, creator of a park. I forget his name. I don't like how his head follows us. That's kind of weird. That's like some exorcist level kind of shenanigans right there. The bird up vending machine. Can we use these yet? I know a lot of people are requesting access to the bird up vending machines. But I don't think they've added that yet. The wall has collapsed behind us. I kind of wish they'd animated that or something. I know it would be difficult to do that, but it would just seem a bit more epic if it was like a cutscene which showed that. But still, uh, that's as it was before. Men's restroom, can we go in here? We can, but it doesn't look like there's much to, uh, to discover in here. I think in the ladies' restroom there is actually something we can get, if I remember. Yes. A little rambly collectible, there we go. Okay. And we can see all the different character posters here. We've got the Rambly Railroad, Finley's Oceanic Odyssey, and Lloyd's Main Stage. With main highlighted there, guys. Get it? The lion. Little pun. All right, here we go. Rambly's Railroad. Pardon our dust, buddy. Looks like the park is going through some renovations. For the inconvenience, your Rambly Tuesday discount will be free. Percent off! Yay! Celebrate this great deal with it's the free. Railroad. To test your sleuthing skills, I'll let you find this one all by yourself. I mean, it's literally here, but thanks for having some faith in us, I guess. Now, this looks very different, guys. They've redone this um, completely. You can see a little red carpet, even. They've rolled a red carpet out for us. We've got all the character posters here. That's kind of cool looking. What's that? A smelly scheme. There's the skunk character. I can't remember their name. Um, I'm not sure if it's a male or female skunk. It looks like a female. But they appear in the uh, little 8-bit minigame later. 
Then we got Steamboat Serenade and Soaring Winged Wonders. Very cool. Oh, this is a completely different look. It's kind of got like a hand-drawn art style now, which looks really cool. To the trains. All right. It's all lit up. We don't even need our flashlight anymore. Look at this. This is completely, like, reworked. It actually looks like somewhere you'd queue for a ride now. So this is awesome. All right, let's go. Follow the, uh, the televisions. Your facial data suggests you may be a bit older than the target audience for this ride. Yes. But it's one of my favorites. Do you know why Rambly the Raccoon loves Rambly's Railroad? Because I like trains. Simple. Yep. That's a good explanation. Can I go through this door? Nope. Okay, let's keep going. We're going to get the train, guys. It's just there in the station. I want to get to the door, though. I want to go through the door, find a secret. I don't know if we can. All right, let's board the train. Hey, it's pulling out the station. All right, here's the railroad ride. Let's re-experience this. Let's see if this is remastered too. I like this little train ride. It's kind of chill. Hey. Welcome to Rambly's Railroad. I'm Conductor Rambly. <laughs> oh. Okay. That ended abruptly. Where are we going now, Rambly? Oh look, it's Molly McCall! It's Molly McCall, the greatest pilot you ever saw! You sure are, Mal. Why, you only crashed into six barns this week! I'm not crashing, Rambly! I'm barnstorming! <laughs> What's barnstorming? Awesome. We'll go to the rooftop races later, guys. Alright, what's this? Just a little derelict area there. Oh, we're going into the underwater area with Finley now. Oh, Finley! Come on out and greet the people! There he is. Why the long face? and body. You've known me for 100 years, Rambly. I'm always long because I'm always longing for a new seashell for my collection. Oh, Finley, you should come out of your shell. How about you come into it instead? My ride, Oceanic Odyssey, will teach you all about the wonders down under the deep blue sea. It's as blue as me. <sighs> he sounds fun, I doesn't he? Visit. I'm so lonely. Oh, he's he's lonely there. That's not nice. All right, where are we going next? I think we have to get off now, if I remember correctly. Oh, yep. Okay, we're off the train. Get the ride back up and running is our objective. And look, we can see the skunk character here. I imagine this character will be more prominent in future chapters. Uh, for now, I guess we just explore and... We go through this door. Here we go. Man, where are we going? There's Molly. I think she says he hurts Lloyd, Rambly hurts Lloyd, which is kind of weird. I'm not sure Rambly's going to be nice for whole game, like maybe in a future chapter he turns evil, who knows. So we got to fix this thing up. Um, let's take one of these. Get that running. There we go. We need one more gear. Oh, can I take that? Yes. Collectible. Like getting all the collectibles. And there is a little statue of uh, Finley himself. Looking very blue. There we go. We've uh, we've powered it up. Get back to the train. Let's book it. Here we go. We all right. I like the reflections. Look at the, the train reflection in the puddle there. I think they've added all this, but it looks pretty impressive. 
So, let's keep going, guys. On with the train ride. Let's go. Who we see next? Lloyd the Lion? I think so. Yes. Here he is. Lloyd the Lion. Hey there, Lloyd. Do not shame me with that common folk name. I am the proud, the prestigious, the professional Lloydford L. Lion, actor extraordinaire. Great act, Lloyd. Of course it was. I'm the He does not like Lloyd, and I, I don't know if Lloyd likes him. Maybe they fell out. I think they might have fallen out, right? But either way, Rambly doesn't seem to be a big fan of Lloyd. Here we go, guys. We got off the train. It does look really nice now they've so, remastered it all. Pretty fun, right? Now you know yeah. all about my friends and Lloyd. So where do you want to go? Hmm. Oh God, look. We can see Molly McCaw chasing us while we're on the train. In that in that image there, that's kind of creepy. Okay, let's uh, let's go. Have a little look around the gift shop while we're here. Look, Lloyd the Lion T-shirts. Anything else? I don't think so, guys. I don't think there's anything new here um, to collect. Although it does look nice. They've, they've remastered all of this. Oh, there's a train, though. Look, we could buy the actual train we just went on. And here it is in action. Oh, wow. This looks good. Look at this. Woo! They've remade this. Look out. Ferris wheel in the background. Kind of impressive, right? So this is, I think, where we have to start exploring. We need to get into the theatre soon. I can't remember exactly uh, how this unfolds. I'll just roll with it. I do remember that there is a secret uh, in the little cafe here, though. I can see it already. A little slurpy cup. Wait, what's that sound? <gasps> Cats! So cute! Let me pet you. Oh, little ginger cat. So cute! That is adorable. Hello. Do you want to follow me about? I need to pet him again. Good boy. Aww. That is so cute. They've added the cat in. I remember there was originally meant to be a cat or something in this game. And they were like... They had taken it out when it launched. Now they've added it back in. So there we go. We got, we got to pet the cat, guys. If they had Steam achievements, I'm not sure if they do, would obviously get one for uh, petting the cat there. Alright, let's keep going. The terminal. This here is an information kiosk. If there's anything around the park you want to ask me about, just stop by here and I'll ramble on about it. Nice. So look, so far we've got these collectibles. We are missing one, two, three, four, five collectibles. I'm not going to go through all of these guys because I already like went through these in my previous video so if you want to watch the original video where I like go through all of these you can gives you a little information on the park but um but yeah this is where we can kind of research into the park by referencing the collectibles we've got and if we click one like you'll hear like rambly say something so if I click this for example ew, Lloyd. he just says ooh Lloyd never click this one oh a mommy plush she's always been my best friend did you know she builds planes in her landing pad at the park? And then she crashes them. She's so talented. So there you go. You just get little bits of information on each one. It's kind of neat. All right, let's go over. Oh, can we go in here now? We can. I want to know if there's any, like, secret stuff they've added to these. Oh, yes, look, a gold rambly plush. That's good. So that's another one. I guess we head over here now. Shop of photos. The Jetstream Junction, this is where we want to go. Well, look at that. You're at Jetstream Junction. Oops, looks like Jetstream Junction's being tuned up. Last I checked, there's a security office in the back of the theater. Maybe a friendly wrangler can help you get in. Orange level access granted. Okay, so now we've upgraded our wristband. Um, we can go to the theater. I think it would be cool if when you have your wristband upgraded, this would be just like a future quality of life thing. You know, it would like look at the wristband and you'd see the color change. That'd be kind of useful. Still can't access these things. They didn't upgrade that in the remaster, but never mind. It's fine. 
Let's go, guys. We're going to the theatre to meet Lloyd the Lion. The pompous performer. There he is. Waving. He's like, come in. Enjoy. So we can use our new wristband here. There we go. Orange access granted. And in we go. <gasps> There's Lloyd. Now... He's getting up. Off he goes. Okay. He didn't want to be our friend. Look at this place. So the theatre is actually very impressive looking. I'll say that. It's a very impressive environment. So let's keep going. Up the steps. It's very shiny in here. Hey buddy. I've got eyes all over the park but... I can't see anything behind the stage. If you're going back there, be careful. Your Kritikov is not yet able to resuscitate you. Will it be able to resuscitate me in the future? Maybe. I don't know. Little piano secret. the little theme of the game, isn't it, being played? But we'll listen to it, you know, why not? They've taken the time to include it. It's a nice break from all the, the creepy stuff. Do, do. Oh, can I go through this door? Ah, oh, I was hoping there'll be a new secret room. There might be secret rooms. I haven't seen any new areas outside of, like, ones that have been, like, revamped. So I'm not sure if there are actually, like, new areas or not. Okay. There's Lloyd. I just saw him. I just glimpsed him. I don't know if there's any secrets we can collect in here, guys. It looks very messy, though. So it's kind of like sifting through a lot of stuff. Um. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Oh, there's a big plushie. I don't think we'll be able to carry that one. I don't think we'll be able to like pick that up and put it in our backpack. Let's keep going. Hello? Anyone there? Ah, oh, Lloyd! You idiot. I knew you were coming for me. I've played this already. He just like crawls away. Alright, so. That's fine. The jump scare got me the first time I played. It's not gonna get me again. I'm not gonna be a sucker. Lloyd got his head dinged by the box. Ooh, look at this. Anything new in here? Can't see anything new. Can I go in the lockers? No? That's a key we need. Can I take that, please? There we go. Okay, we got the key. No. I can hear him outside now. All right. Screw this. Where is he? I don't like how he... I don't like how he can be heard. Just like marching about. Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. Keep going. I'm just running for the exit. I'm not even stopping, guys. I'm not even stopping at this point. We're going to swipe our wristband and get out of here. Go. No! There he is. Look at that. It's flashing. It kind of banished him. So somehow our wristband can, like, hack their heads, their minds. It hacks into their brain. Oh, my God. There's Molly McCaw. Yeah, it can hack into their, like, minds and basically um, torment them, like, scramble their brains a bit. I'm sure that's going to come into play, like, later on in the story, you know, how the wristband can, like, maybe control them. Interesting setup, you know. Leaves us asking questions, doesn't it? Okay, here we go, guys. Jetstream Junction. Let's unlock. 
We got the key, of course, from the office to unlock that padlock. Alright, here's Jetstream Junction. Say, why don't you check out Molly's rooftop races? It's not far from here, and it's a great warm-up before we get into the bigger rides. Just take it up at Molly's landing pad. Cool. We'll do that then. Look at the moon. It's a full moon. It's always a full moon, isn't it, in a horror game? You know something sus is happening if the moon is full. There's Molly McCall, her giant statue. I don't know if they've added much to this area. They might have added little bits to it. It looks similar to my to my eye. Maybe a bit brighter. We'll go over to here and play the arcade game, shall we? Because I remember this arcade game does have some secrets. So this is the Rambly Rush. Let's play it. Oh no, Molly's plane crashed somewhere in Rambleberry Woods. I better find her and make sure she's okay. Okay, let's do it. So we've got to collect these little Rambleberries. Um, oh god. Okay, that was not good. I fell in the water and died. My bad. Let's try it again. Oh my god. It seems that the controls, I swear, are more floaty than they used to be in this minigame. It used to be really easy. Now it's like, whoa. Oh, you can do the double jump, though. Yeah. Come on, double jump it. Yes. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. There we go. Keep going. Yes, Rambly, yes. I do like this little mini game. I like how they added this because I think, you know, it's uh, it's pretty neat. It's a neat little feature. Look, with the Masters, I'm doing this on keyboard and mouse as well, guys. Notoriously hard to uh, play a platform game on a keyboard. But we're doing just fine. And look, oh, it's so cute. Those squirrels are just in love. We'll leave them be. Oh, do we go down here? Yes, it's like a cannon that's also a tree stump. Or a tree stump that's also a cannon, maybe. It's about the better way to phrase that. Oh, I only just made that. And into another one. Boom. Hey. Okay, we made it. I think. Here's Molly, yes. Molly, what happened? Oh, hey, Rambly. I was flying through the woods, but suddenly I couldn't see a thing. Here's a skunk character. Salem the skunk. Looks like my smoke screen made her crash right on target. Salem. I should have known you were behind this, you shady skunk. Let her go. Nah. <laughs> nah, I'm not letting her go. How's about I try my new potion on her instead? I'm tired of wasting it on these squirrels. Molly, look out! Oh no, she's been turned evil. Salem's been turning the mascots evil. I think that's what it's hinting at. Too slow, dumpster face. What, what did you do to her? Meet the new and improved Molly McCaw. Now with none of that friendship garbage stopping her from tearing you to pieces. Great. I wonder what she really thinks of you now. Have fun finding out. Oh, great. Yeah, now we've got to destroy Molly McCaw. Okay, we got her. Ah. Stop hopping around, Molly. Oh, no, I got hit. I got hit. I lost a Rambleberry. Okay, I got her. Now, oh, my God. Okay, she's rushing us. But we got her again. Oh, no, now she's putting her, her Rambleberries on us. We got her, though. We, did, we banished her. We did it. Okay, that's loud. That's very loud in my ears. We did it, guys. We completed it. <gasps> and now... We get the Rambleberry collectible. Yeah, we did it. Okay, so yeah, the skunk is called Salem, and it seems the skunk represents a mascot character that is corrupting the other ones. If we're to read law, we extract law, you know, from that minigame, which I think we probably are meant to. So, as I remember it, there is a little plushie down here as well to collect. Yep. Yeah. This one is from... A FNAF fan game, which I forget the name of. I did play it on the channel. It was pretty cool. 
And that plushie is included in the game, which is nice. A nice little reference. Because I think the developers are friends. Anyway, here we go. Oh no! This is horrible! We can't ride the ride! Uh, looks like Molly crashed into the ride again! Don't worry though, your pal Ramley has the repairman on speed dial. We're sorry. The number you have dialed has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Please check the number and dial again. Uh, Say, why don't you check out Molly's landing pad? It's not far from here and it's a great cooldown after that exhilarating ride. Just take a down from Molly's rooftop races. Well, we had so much fun on that ride, didn't we? That was, that was brilliant. So I guess we leave that. We're not riding that today. And I guess we go to the landing pad. Let's check it out. Hopefully our little wristband works. Yeah. That's it. Into the landing pad we go. Now I remember this area was annoying and now we've got new puzzles. Or are they new? I think they're just laid out differently. So we actually spin the rotor now. The little propeller, we spin this to match the correct symbol. So we need to find the symbol, so... Basically, there's colours you can see, guys. We have to match the colours and symbols up. So, can we see any in here? I don't think so. Wow, there's loads. Oh. Yeah, this one needs to be star, because look, there's the colour. And it's on triangle, so we change it to star. We have to spin it. And that opens that, nice. So now we've just got to find all the other colours. As we find the correct shapes to match the colours, we'll uh, we'll note them down so I don't forget them. Sometimes when I get nervous playing a horror game, I'll forget stuff easily. There's Molly. Scuttling about. Okay, can we see our first colour? I can't see any colours yet. we got to look around this place. Nope, I don't see anything. I'm going to go this way. Man, if she runs at me now, I'm going to cry. Ah! I forgot that was actually in the game. Was that always there? I thought she we just saw her go the other way, so I, I didn't expect it. Okay, we've got our first... We've got our first thing, guys. It looks like orange. So that's a circle. Let's go down. Okay. So now we can go through here. We come back out. So this one will be circle. Man, there's so many. Alright, let's go back up, guys. We need to, like, get the next one now. Yeah, they've made this puzzle harder. It's definitely, um, there's more to it now. Oh, and it's really dark in here as well. Okay, let's go this way. Can we see any? Any more? <gasps> yes, red is a star, guys. Red is a star. Whoa. Okay, so red star... Now, can we see any others? Not so far. Not so far. Oh! We've got a triangle, guys. A green triangle. Red star, green triangle. Alright, let's go. Oh! Okay, I landed up here. Oh, and a blue is a star as well. Oh my god. This place is bigger than I remember it being. They've probably, they've probably expanded this, I think. So I think we can, we can do our thing now, guys. We can go down here. We can jump in the ball pit as well. Way. But yes, it was... I think red star, right? Blue was also a star. Oh, uh, yeah, and that, that was a triangle. That was already set up, so we can go up now. We've done it. We've done the puzzle. Yes. Yeah, they've definitely expanded this environment. So I, I think this is what they mean by new environments, because it was definitely bigger than it was before. So let's go up here. We've got to prepare for that molly chase. Oh, we're going down into the depths. 
Okay. No going back now. We're on a one-way course. Drop down. Huh. This feels a bit different. I don't know if it is. Yeah, this is different than before. They've changed this. Oh, man. That's where she's going to come from. Yeah, they've, they've changed it, guys. Look, there's blood on the, on the floors now. Oh. She's there. Run. Yes, I remember this now. Go, 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 go. Uh, hopefully the route is the same. The route is the same as it was before. Because I, I roughly remember where to go if it is. No! I keep stopping running. I don't want to stop running. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go. Oh my god. She's coming out of that pipe, guys. I'm not even stopping to look. If I remember correctly, she's fast. She moves quickly. We gotta keep going. Go. Go. Ah, no, I missed the jump. Oh my god. Screw it. Screw it. There's no turning back now. We're committing to our roots. We're committing to the path forward. Go, 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 go. Yes. Oh my god, there's blood down here, though. Do we want to be going this way? I don't know. Go, 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 go. It feels like this is a bit longer, this chase, than it was before. Rambly mask. We grabbed that. We got it, we got it, we got it. Into the vents. Woo! Oh, she's behind us. I can hear her. I'm not even turning around. If I turn around, I die. I know it. So I'm just going to keep going. Go, 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 go. Run. We're almost there. Ah, there you are, buddy. Yep. Wait, hold on. This one's step only. Come on, Andrew, step Ah, go. We made it. Oh, they've changed the lighting. Look how cool that looks. Screw you. I know what's about to happen. Ah. <laughs> yep, there we go. Rip. Rest in peace. Kick ahead. <sighs> Welcome to the Rambly's Wranglers Registered Grill. Here we have plenty of amenities and... Uh, okay, okay. I can see in your facial tracking that you're scary, angry, upset. Transparency is an important part of our policy here at Indigo Park, so... I need to be honest about something. The park has been inactive for years. Employees we figured that out ourselves. To the mascots are... I just was so excited to see a visitor, and I wanted to be sure you were given the best experience possible. But That's okay, little fella. For so long, I didn't realize just how much disrepair the park has fallen into. I'm wasting all of your fun time. Eh, sorry for the inconvenience. But, but, I have an idea. I have access to the repair documentation in my database. I just can't execute most tasks without authorization from a human user. You must have come here because the park matters to you too, right? Yes. Would you be willing to help me restore the park? Yes. I can see in your facial tracking data that you aren't opposed to this. Ooh, Look how so happy he is. Let's get this place back in business. Okay. Rest in peace, Molly. I really like the okay. lighting change Welcome I made at the, the end crew, of it. Rookie Wrangler. Register. Your first official job as one of Rambly's Wranglers Register is to get out of the Rambly's Wranglers Register room. Head left towards the Rookie Wranglers Register security room to set yourself free. Cool. Ooh, kind of exhausting to say that whole spiel. But Rambly's Wranglers Register is a registered trademark. Dad fired yesterday. He's still going on. You've told me where to go, buddy. Uh-oh. That Rambly's Wranglers room is only accessible by Royal Wranglers. Maybe one day you'll grow up big and strong enough to enter it. But for now, don't. There was newspapers here as well. Talking about the Senate being corrupt. And a Lloyd plus your retro one. It's cool. Okay, Wranglers only. Let's go this way, guys. Towards the end of the game now. Okay, we're in the security room. Is there anything on the security cameras? I don't think so. Is there anything new here? There's a rambly plush. Oh, we can click it. What? It's not doing anything. Why can't I pick that up? We can click it, but it doesn't do anything. It doesn't even make a noise. That's really weird. I don't know if that's bugged or something. 
Okay, keep going. <gasps> Guys, wait, this this is a new room. It's a printer. There's some files. Huh. This room wasn't here before, as far as I remember. Is there something we can do in it? Doesn't look like it. Hmm, interesting. Keep going then, I guess. Anything here? <gasps> There's another rambly plush. I can click it. It doesn't do anything though, this is weird. I wonder if clicking these plushes, like, unlocks something? Like a secret? I'm not sure. Let's keep going. If we find more, we'll just keep clicking them and maybe something happens. Uh, anything here? Nope. There is a information kiosk. Let's click the mask, because I didn't include this in my original playthrough, guys, but you get a secret message, a secret recording. Whoa, where'd you find that? I've never seen anyone wearing one. Pretty snazzy. Ooh, looks like there's an audio recording tagged with costume in my database I've never noticed before. Let's listen, let's listen. Let's listen. Hey, Jackson, you hear about the new mascots? Yeah. Think it'll put us out of a job? I think so. Old, sport, and right after we got this damn raccoon costume. Man, screw this place. I said we get our asses out of here and go straight to Vegas. Aw, oh, come on. They didn't even document the Indigo inventory ID for the costume. I was really looking forward to that. What a useless recording. Deleted. He did not care for that recording, but it does kind of shed some light on where the story's going with the uh, the mascot costumes, the old costumes that they used to wear. Um, seems like maybe the Molly McCaw costume was what she was running about in, in the game. Uh, I don't know if it's a human trapped inside or something. It's very, very strange. Can we see anything else? Wait, there's another one of these. We can click it, but nothing's happened. There's the Oceanic Odyssey. This is where we're going to wrap up our playthrough. Wow, you made it to Oceanic Odyssey. Yep. You're doing a great job, Rookie Wrangler. Thanks. <gasps> Wait, there's another Rambly. Huh. So that's four we found now, guys. There's another one here. Five. Uh, I'm going to go tr back. I'm going to try going back, guys. I'm going to see if we've unlocked anything by picking these up, because... I feel like there's got to be something. There's got to be some, like, reason for picking all these rambly plushies up, right? So there's maybe something that's unlocked in the security room or that secret room that we were in before, or like, like that new room. It's not really a secret room, but you know what I mean. Let's see if anything's in here. <gasps> we can access the printer now! It's glowing. Wait. Oh. We've got weird symbols on a picture of Rambly. So this obviously means something in the game, guys. It's like, it's a clue to decipher. But I don't know what it means. This is one of the new secrets they've added. So I knew this room would come in useful somewhere. It so obviously was linked to the plushies we were picking up. Yeah, I don't know what that code means. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments if you can figure it out. But while I'm playing, obviously, I'm not going to be able to just figure that out. It's got like a, a mask... Is that a medical sign or something? A crown? I don't know. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna leave that to you guys. We'll go back. I don't think I'm figuring that out, but that might unlock something new in the game. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's go back to the end of the game, guys. Experience the ending once more, and then we'll wrap this video up. Here we go, into Oceanic Odyssey. You'll find a poker and porpoises, pickles, and perches as far as the eye can see. Please don't tap the glass. You never really know what lies beneath the surface. Oh, there he is. There's the Finley enemy from Chapter 2, or the, the enemy that will be in Chapter 2, I should say, Finley. Maybe he's not an enemy, maybe he's friendly. Hey, buddy. He's hoping, right? You okay? You look kind of we tired. did it, guys! We beat Do you need a moment? Chapter 1 Remastered of Indigo fine. Park. I don't blame you for taking a rest after all that. I'll let you listen to the song at the end of the game nice because, you know, it's a fun little song, isn't it? But before you settle down, you up for a little survey to help us improve the Yeah, park? hit me with it. Thanks for visiting Indigo Park. You're welcome. Hope all your dreams came true. Not if really. got some time and you're up for a lark, stick around for the Rambly Review. I'm here to offer my best to each valuable guest I assist.
and lots of happy feedback ensures I get to exist. Try it. It's a nice little song, isn't it, guys? Yes no. You gotta admit, it, it's a, a catchy little Will jingle. This. Will I see you again? Did your experience convince you to tell a friend about us? Did I earn uh, your trust? If we're talking about the game, yes. Park. If we're talking about the park, no. Definitely not. End up getting killed if you go there. This place should be. But out of the dark, you've given a spark of sunshine to this kingdom's faithful devotee. At Indigo Park, more than my remarks are mysteries. Even I don't know what we might find. But fight through the dark, and I'll be your spark of. You want to keep going oh idea i know all of this isn't fair to you it's an awful lot to ask but here comes rambly review part two to sell you on our task i'm here to view and assess each valuable guest as i learn and lots of happy feedback ensures you're gonna return I'm so happy you rode a ride. And saw the show. I'm so happy to be your guide. More than you know. So come back anytime. I'd love to see you again. In all my thousands of days, I've never had a friend like you. At least I hope I do. At Indigo Park, there is a stark contrast to everything I know this place should be. But out of the dark, you've given a spark of sun. Shine to this kingdom's faithful devotee at Indigo Park. More than my remarks are mysteries, even I don't know what we might find. But fight through the dark, and I'll be your spark of sunshine to get you out of any bind. That's a nice little song, isn't it? There we go. Now we just have to wait for chapter two, guys. We have to wait until chapter two releases. That's probably when I'll cover the game next. Okay, I'll let you go. See you next time, buddy. Bye. Please. Yeah, we'll see you next time. I mean, they raised a heck of a lot of money on the Kickstarter, guys. Like, I don't know what it was in the end. Something like $200,000 or something ridiculous. So we're definitely getting a chapter two. That's, like, guaranteed and probably a chapter three. So there we go. And they uh, just say, thank you. Indigo Park is a full-on passion project that we've been working on for a little over a year now. The stories that we want to create with Rambly and his friends are very special to us. Thanks to your support, Chapter 2 is now in active development. Keep an eye on our socials for upcoming news. No matter what happens, we hope you enjoyed your stay. Thanks for visiting Indigo Park, Mason, Rambly, and the dev team. There we go, guys. So, we have now completed Indigo Park Remastered. So there we go guys, that was Indigo Park Chapter 1 Remastered. It's the remaster of the uh, original chapter. It seems like there are some secrets there, although we didn't actually figure out what that like secret code meant in the video. Maybe I'll do a separate video where we try and figure that stuff out. But for now, this is my playthrough complete. We uh, experienced the new stuff in this chapter. It was pretty cool, especially the cat and the like new art style they used here and there throughout the chapter. Uh, didn't actually experience Molly McCaw's jump scare. Maybe that has changed, I'm not sure. But either way, this uh, was a fun little revisit to the game. Definitely enjoyed it and can't wait for Chapter 2 to come out. So we'll obviously play that when uh, when it drops, whenever that may be. If you do want to check out this update for yourself, of course, it is available right now on Steam. The game is free to play and so is this update. So yeah, I'll leave a link below if you want to go check it out. Show the developers some love there, you can do so. With that said, if you have enjoyed this video today, I'd appreciate it if you can leave a like, comment down below and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I'll see you on the next one.